Hey Gemini, it's me Kit. I hope everyone's doing well. Gemini, I know you guys are saying, Kit, where have you been? <laughs> I've been around. I'm sorry we had the holiday and then uh, had a couple of days, but I'm back now and I'm here to do a reading for you guys for the month of December. So let's see what could be going on for you guys this month. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what is the overall energy for the sign of Gem uh, Gemini, please, for the month of December 2020? Thank you. All right, Gemini. Here and now. Okay, so I automatically feel that Spirit is saying the energy that you're going to be in for the month of December is you're going to be living... Um, basically for the current time only. You're not looking towards the future. You're not looking at back at the past. Spirit is saying that you need to focus on the here and the now and what's going on in the present. Spirit, what else can you tell Gemini, please, for the month of December 2020? What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Gemini, please. I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's been a while. Okay. Gemini, let's see what we have going on. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. A lot of emotion here. We have the Three of Wands in, in the reverse. We have the Tower, and we also have the Eight of Swords. And underneath the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So, Gemini, I, th I feel like in the past... Um, there was a relationship that you were in that maybe wasn't going um, anywhere. It was just kind of stagnant. It was, um, you know, with the with the Knight of Cups here and the Three of Wands in the reverse, it was like it just wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't anything that you really um, had much hope for. I feel like this person is coming back. I feel like this person is going to come back and actually blow your mind and um, at, let you know that they want to perhaps start over again. Um, you know, they, they went out as a knight and they're in as a page, so I don't know. Um, I feel like this offer makes you happy, but I feel like you're going to be um, stuck in your head due to the fact that this didn't work out before. It was kind of not going anywhere. It wasn't something that, you know, maybe you really liked this person, but it wasn't the catch-all, so to speak. I feel like maybe you were hurt in the past with this Three of Swords. Maybe there was um, a third party. I'm not really feeling that, though, but um, I just feel like it was a relationship that you, you were just eh about, and I feel like, um, you know, there is the thought there that, that this person could make you very happy, but you're also, um, you know, pretty unsure about what you want to do. You could be stuck in a situation already, or maybe this person was stuck in a situation prior. But we'll pull some more cards and see. Spirit, what can you tell Gemini, please, regarding the cards on the table? What does Gemini need to know? What could you tell Gemini, please? Please clarify the cards on the table for Gemini. Okay, Gemini, let's see. Just get a couple of shuffles. Two more. Okay. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Thank you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I feel like even with the Page of Pentacles, I just feel like anything that was going on in this relationship, um, it just went very slow. It went very slow. Why is the Three of Wands here, please, for Gemini? 
Three of Wands in reverse. Why is that here? Gemini, please. Thank you. We have the Knight of Wands. You know, this person may have been in and out a lot. This person may have... I feel like you're attracted to this person. This person was in and out a lot. Why is the Page of Cups here now for Gemini? Why is the Page of Cups here for Gemini? One card, please. Thank you. The Fool. So this person wants to uh, come back and, and start anew with you. Why is the Tower here, please? Thank you. Oh, Ten of Swords. You know, give me another card, please. Another card. Another card. Thank you. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. I have a feeling that this may have, this person um, may have been in and out due to the fact that there was more than one person involved. And if this person comes back to you now, I would definitely make sure that this person isn't involved with somebody else. You know, with the Here and Now card, Spirit is telling you to live for today. Um, don't look at the future and try not to look at the past. I feel if you're going that route, as you should, definitely make sure this person isn't still involved with somebody. Why is the Nine of Cups here? There's a lot of emotion here. Why is the Nine of Cups here, please? Gemini. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Gemini? One card, please. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Thank you. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person sees you as, you know, very loving, very caring, very nurturing. Um, and, and I feel that, that this person feels you'll make them very happy. But, um, you know, how do you feel about that? Give me another card, please, for the Nine of Cups. Thank you. Six of Cups, reconciliation, reconciliation. This person does want to come back. You're this person's happiness. Give me the eight uh, card for the eight of swords, please. Why is the eight of swords here for Gemini? Why is the eight of swords here, please, for Gemini? Thank you. The world, yeah, this, this, that cycle, the past cycle has closed out. Why is the three of swords here? Three of swords. I feel like that's your fear. You're, you're, you're fearful of being hurt again. Why is the Three of Swords here? That was at the bottom of the deck. That's your subconscious mind. Three of Swords. Give me another card, please. For Gemini. Why is the Three of Swords here? That one? No? Okay. Thank you. We have two. We have three. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. That's my card of um, a spouse. I feel like this person perhaps may, may have been married. Um, temperance, I feel like in the past you had to bite your tongue a lot. Um, this person with the Eight of Pentacles wants to come in and work on this again. Underneath the deck we have the Eight of Wands. Um, there's going to be a lot of communication. This person really wants to talk to you. We have the Three of Cups underneath the deck as well. So I just, again, I still feel like there could have been a third party in the past. Um, and this person wants to come in now and try to make things right with you. Spirit, what advice do you have for Gemini, please, for the month of December? What advice do you have for Gemini, please, for the month of December? Thank you. 
Thank you. Anything else? Gemini, please. This one? Okay. Okay, Gemini. Be authentic. Your way is the only way for you. So Spirit is saying, be yourself, speak your mind, you know, take care of yourself. You, nobody is going to take care of you except for you. So in this situation, just make sure you're authentic, you speak your mind, you're honest. And the next card says, let love be your guide. Live a life from love guided by love. So try to hold your composure. I don't know how you feel about this past person. Um, just be yourself again. Um, be very caring and loving as you're perceived and as you are. And go with your heart. Go with your heart. Just be very careful. And like I said, if there was a third party in the past regarding this relationship, I would definitely make sure that that is no more. So that's it, Gemini. Um, I hope you guys have a great December. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, guys.